guys, it's Amy from Amy's Little Bit of Everything. How you doing? I am, oh, hold on. You know how I am, excuse me, getting my, let's see, cancel. I gotta get my timer. Bear with me. Okay. All right, guys, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Jessens, silk flappers, fishy lips, and butterfly. If you did that with me, you are young at heart. And if you didn't, fast forward that part. You didn't need it anyways. Okay, so I got another Timu haul. You know how I had a backup because I had the breakdown of the phone. So I have several orders I'd like to get out because I've completely forgot that I had them. Okay, I just showed you a video on bras that I've been waiting on until I show you. I found another package of bras. They're different. Let me make sure they're different. They're different, okay. Now I'm gonna end up with so many bras, but that's okay. You guys, I really like these. There's an eight piece women's plus sports bra. I love sports bras. I used to think that I didn't and I wouldn't. I just feel like I'm off center with this thing and because everything is a mess in here. I will eventually be going to my office and having these, but um, for right now, you just have to bear with me in here. <laughs> Okay, but these are uh, sports bras, and I like to purchase these bras so that you guys that are looking for them can go ahead and um, find the one that you like. Now, I love the material on these. Um, these are a 1X, and these are plus size. Um, it just says an extra large. It says extra large, but this is in plus size. Okay, so I don't think I had these last time. Oh, no, because the back. Remember the other ones I showed you had like a square back? Those were really pretty. But um, like I said, I used to not wear sports bras until I got sick. And any pressure or even just a bra, if it's if it has um, like too tight from the strap um, or where you connect it to, um, it's uh, my disease is in my lungs. And whenever I have that pressure on my chest, I get real winded and short of breath. So I started wearing these sports bras and these don't have bad support. I mean, it's not like real bad, but um, I mean, it's not like the best, like you're going to buy a bra because you are getting a bras here for $21. Okay. So, um, oh, and they have the pad in them. I do prefer the pad, but if I do want to take the pads out, sometimes I can wear these to bed. I'll take the pad out, definitely go into bed, but they have a little hole here you can replace. So I think for $8 for $21 is an awesome deal. And like I said, the support's good. And then, guys, when they get old and they lose their their support, I just pass them on or I get rid of them, throw them away. Because sometimes by the time I get done with them, I have wore it. And then you get this real pretty red. But, yeah, the ones that I showed you yesterday had the, like, a square back. And then here's a black. And then yesterday's had a pink. Yeah, because I don't hardly have any bras, and I've been cleaning out my drawers and stuff, and I was like, okay, these old things are going out of here. And tan. Like that lavender shirt I had, this bra would be pretty underneath it. And then light blue. And then kind of like a coral. That would have been pretty under this. I, I have a dress on underneath this. This was on my try on video. I love this dress. And then this one. So I wanted to show you those so I can get them washed and start wearing them now. Okay. Now on my next thing. Oh, um, I don't know if, um, if all of you guys caught this, but I love this little thing here. I put mine, I have one, and I put it in my purse. I get one of these things for trash. Um, what you do, I'm not going to do this one right now because I'm, I have one that I'm using. I'm just going to put this back until I use it again. But you fill this up with water, and then these little circle things are like a little washcloth. Take the lid off. You put the little circle thing here. You pump down. You fill it up with water, and it swells up, and it becomes a washcloth. And then, and these little things open up, and yeah, I think this is the greatest thing. Um, this one here, yeah, this one here was $5. There was one that I got for like 51 cents. That's how I started to get them. But the other one I got was 
So I don't know where that one is. Maybe I, I probably shown it and then packed it away somewhere. But I love that little guy. Then I always get these, like the little refills. Um, they look like this. This one came in a little container. And this was nice. Oh, it came with something else. I do not see it. Okay, well, um, these little containers are really nice because then you can replace them. Um, but the one I got yesterday, oh, here, they're still right here. These are really cheap in the bag. But um, this little thing with the container that I'm going to keep some in this, you know, keep it in this thing full. Now, this thing was $10.98, but remember, I don't always pay that. Um, yeah, I had credit on this account for $27.23. So, I'm more likely to buy stuff like that if I have credit. Okay, now, I have seen everybody have these, and I wanted to try them for myself. They're silicone ice tray for your 40-ounce Stanley Cups. It was $7.48. And, you know, I'm always drinking out of my Stanley, except for today I have a regular cup because I had lunch, and that's my cup for lunch. But... I'm always putting ice because I like a cold drink. A cold drink. Cold ice water. How about that? That just sounded funny. But um, this little guy, you fill him up. Okay, what do we fill up? I guess fill this up with water and then slide that down on it. Wait, hold on. This is not making any sense. It's showing, yeah, that's what it's showing. It's showing, oh, maybe that way. Yeah, oh, wait, how's the water going to stay in there? I thought it was showing it like this, but now how the heck? Well, anyways, I'm going to have to try it. Well, it locks in there, but maybe it's just a thin ice cube. Silicone ice tray, easy to release. Okay, but anyways, when it comes out, it comes out like your Stanley cup. You drop that in your cup, and then you add your water or pop or whatever you want. I did get a different kind, and I'll probably have that in my haul. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe the next day. So I'm going to try this one and the other one and see what we get. But I will update you on that to see if I like it. Then, where's that little thing at? Some of this stuff, I forget what I get. I'm like, okay, well, what's this? And if some of you guys don't know what Timu is, it's an app or a website that you can go to. It's kind of like an Amazon. Um, you Stuff comes in from all around the world. Um, you can get lightning deals. You can... If you sign on, I'll, I'll put my code underneath here, and um, I really don't think I get anything out of it. I've been confused because they changed some things, so I'm really not for sure what all, um, but um, you can use a website. Um, I do go through PayPal, so that it secures my payment, and yeah, I think that's about it. But you can get really nice things out, and you can buy stuff like I'm buying. Um, I used to, when I first did this, I was just buying anything I wanted. And I ended up like, oh my gosh, this is way too much. And Jeff was like, Amy, you're filling the house up, and you're not like this. What's going on? And I was like, I know. I backed it down. And I'm trying now to get, like, Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. Only buy the things that I know that I would be buying for anyways. And then they have like little kitchen gadgets. I get kitchen gadgets. I actually have a couple in this one. I get things for my dogs. Um, yeah. I have a birthday party. I get decorations through there because I've come and I've totaled it down. And it's almost cheaper to do that even if you go to the Dollar Tree. And But anyways, if you're interested and you don't know anything about it, send me an um, email. And I would be glad to send you some information and let you know. Now, this little gadget here that I'm holding is a stainless steel Sharpie blade finger easy peel fruit vegetables with stainless steel <coughs> handheld pillar. It's $1.48. I think, honestly, I got this whenever I was thinking about um, doing my carrots, my canning my carrots. <laughs> you could do carrots. You could do apples if you want, but I got my apple pillar. Um, potatoes. Um, sweet potatoes. I was just trying to think of a wide variety of things. 
but it's just like a little pillar but you can wear it on your hand and then you just peel away and i i had one before and my blade did get pretty bad so i just ended up throwing it away and you get this little protector on here well maybe if it wants to stay get a little protector on there so you don't cut yourself i thought that was really cute i like that I'm always getting little gadgets like that. Now, this little 4-in-1 rechargeable nose hair beard trimmer for men, eyebrows, and it has a long list of stuff you can use it for. Um, it looks like this. And it shows nose, um, beard, you can go around your ear, face trimmer, eyebrow trimmer. Um, but heck, this little guy wasn't bad. It's $6.15. I love getting things like this because, you know, even with my little hair that I have here, I will sometimes, like, if Holly hasn't had a chance to give me a haircut, I'll kind of zoom that a little bit. Um, and you get your charger. You get a blade cleaner. You get this little doodad here. And then you get, that would be the eyebrow thing. Let me see if you can take that thing off. Uh, well, I guess you could. It's like that. It's a side trim. Oh, there it is. It's focusing in. And then you just pop that little thing back on there. And that would be like, you know, get your eyebrows trimmed up. And then you have this type. And then this is your little machine. I wonder if it has... Oh, it does. And it's quiet. That's nice. And then you can plug it in there. I grab these up all the time, guys. And when you can get them for like six bucks, um, do it. I am not putting that back in the box because I'm getting rid of the box because I'll take that to my bedroom. But um, these little things come in so much handy. And then if you get one and it starts to get old, then you just toss it. And you don't feel bad about tossing it because um, I use those things all the time. And Jeff does all the time too. Um, let's see. I got this for my sister. I was going to give this as a Christmas present. And I can't remember if I gave her one before. But Jenny, if you're watching skip over for a few seconds but it says what happens at nana's stays at nana's her grandson henry calls her nana and you even get the little string to hang it and i thought if you want to put it on her porch or even in her kitchen it'd look really cute in the kitchen but um, i'm going to give that to her for christmas see that's what i was talking about christmas gifts and this little thing was 77 cents so I just thought for a Christmas gift, that'd be kind of cute. Because we get little things like that for each other. You know, when you get Christmas, it doesn't have to be anything big or fancy. Just um, cute stuff. And I've had these before, these little spatulas. And the reason why I got these, these were 59 cents. And I love these things. Because um, when I'm doing a bake-off, you know, like a busy baker day, um, I can go through these things. And sometimes I can get them washed up. Sometimes I can't. But these little silicone things are the best. I just love having these on hand. And uh, and I don't think... Oh, yes, it does. I like that because it can come off. Sometimes the last one I got was siliconed on. So, but take those off to wash them, guys. Because I have had stuff get in there. And that could get a little creepy. But I love these when I'm baking. And then I had a little one and it comes off. You can wash it. Trying to keep all my baking stuff together. And then I got like this little thing I like to use for butter for rolls. Or if I'm doing some meat. But just a real nice handy. Oh, awesome. That comes off too, guys. Because, you know, your your sauces and stuff is going to get underneath there. So make sure you take those things off and wash them. But like I said, that was 59 cents. Can't beat that. Oh, and then I got a dish drying mat. I just thought this was cute. I didn't know if I would use it for my coffee, my coffee, um, where my coffee station is, but, um, if you spill water on it, it's like a drying mat, so it shouldn't be too bad, and I have this stuff back here for my kitchen for later, and that was 68 cents. Can't beat it. 
And then I got this little thing. This is for, you can do like little craft molds or if you're making little candies. But I picked this one up. It's got scissors and perfume bottle and a little hair dryer and you know how cute they all are. And it's just this little silicone thing and you can press things in there. You can make little candies out of them. You can pour chocolate in there and have little chocolate candies. Even if you're, you know, giving a birthday party or something. And that was $2.27 and I thought that was a cute idea. Oh, and you know how I am with my bees. I wondered where these earrings were. I could not find these and what it is, oh no, I lost the backs, hold on. These did not have backs. Okay, so we didn't have to worry about it. But look at these. Oh wait, she turned, oh, I'm gonna have to, you know how sometimes they put them on backwards? That one's put on backwards, so I'm gonna have to fix it. And that one's put on backwards. All right, we're going to have to fix them, but that's okay. Look at that little guy. And it's just on, you know, it's just like a little resin or whatever you want to call that. But I just think he's adorable, and I'll probably wear these tomorrow. I've got to turn them around because they have them like this. And I'm sure that's not what you want people to see the front. You want that to be the front. So I just have to turn them around. Sometimes they do that. They get them backwards, but it's just part of it, and I will fix that. Okay. Oh, and remember when I said I got the goggle glasses? They were here. I got these because I got that real little sun lamp thing that um, it helps with my vitamin D during the winter. And because of my illness, I need that a little bit. I don't need a lot, but a little. Um, but here was these glasses. I think I might have shown these glasses to you before. I mean, it wasn't these, but I think I got two. Oh, that string I just made really, really big. So I'm going to have to fix it. Okay, let's just show you. But here's the glasses. Let me put them on. Because I know this is going to be a thumbnail. I know it will be. <laughs> because they always do goofy things for me for a thumbnail. But why not? I'm a goofy person. All right. But I got these. Um, the sun lamp, I'm not going to use, you know, as a tanning bed or anything like that. I mean, first of all, it's like this. I, I should go get it for you. Because I think I got it for free. I think I got it as a gift. But um, sometimes in the winter with my disease, I need that extra vitamin D and that gives it to me. And sometimes if I just sit for five minutes or so, meditate a little bit, read the Bible, you know, something like that, it can kick me back into gear. So that's why I got those. And, and I kind of, well, I won't be reading the Bible with all the teeny things on, but I like to meditate. It's a good time to read the Bible because when I am under the sunlight, I do want to wear those goggles because um, my disease can destroy my eyes, but, um, but that's why I got it. Okay, okay. this is a kitchen multifunctional grinding cooking spoon. Grinding? Oh, I know why now. Um, like a ginger or garlic, um, pressed mashed potatoes. Yeah, I saw this little thing, or serving rice. I saw this little thing and I thought this was really cool. And it was only 59 cents. Okay, they um, they show you where you can do like garlic right here. See, it's got those little edges in there. Then you can, um, you can use it to do, um, like say you're getting your green beans out and you don't want a lot of the water. Um, what else did it say? Um, oh, you can press your mashed potatoes. I saw them using this and I was going to remember everything. And it said use it as a drainer. Um, mashed potatoes, serving rice. It's just a multi-functional. I wish I would have gotten two because I would like to have two of these on hand. I don't know why I can reuse this one and wash it. But I just thought these would really nice. Or say like, you know, anything you're getting out. You could probably get a, um, a potato if you have green beans and potatoes and you just want to get a serving of a potato, get it out and put it on your plate. Just really anything, anything you could think of. And I thought for 49 cents or 59 cents, I thought that's not bad at all. Yeah, 59 cents. I didn't think that was bad at all. And then, let's see, that was my balls. And then I got these little, let me see. Oh, my foot's falling asleep. I can't wait to get my office done so that I can sit at my table and my feet will not fall asleep. All right, these are 10-piece water-resistant card sleeve for 71 cents. 
Oh, yes, I was wanting to put my insurance card in here. I was waiting on these. Well, actually, I've had them, but I was waiting for my phone. I'll just try to... No, it's not. But you, uh, you can tear these and put your insurance card in there and everything. Hopefully, it fits. If not, you might be able to cut down the extra um, waste of it. But I got these. I usually use the, um, oh, what is that where you have two pieces and you can, and they're like tape. I've drawn a blank. I'm sure you guys are yelling it out to me going, it's two-sided sticky tape. No, it's, I can't remember. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You put your card in there and then you, laminating, laminating. Oh, there. Somebody must have been telling me. Thank you, whoever that was. Okay. You laminate. I usually laminate, but I saw these and I thought these are kind of nice because sometimes that lamination comes loose, but these you just stick them in, get them out, and give them away. And yeah, I had 10, 12. Was it 10 or 12? 10. So 10 of them. So, and for 71 cents, you really can't go bad on that. So that was a really good deal on that. Let me see where my papers are. And I think that's it. Wow. Starting to learn to get right on track. But um, I've had, and like I said, I've had this order for a while, but um, I'm going to keep this back. Um, but it's like I had that, my phone go bad and there was no way I could do my shows. So I had to just wait until I got a new phone. So, and sorry about the mess. Um, you know, we're moving into the other room and we've kind of got these three rooms here on the end. A disaster. They're, so, they're such a disaster. I don't even want to show you. So, because you'd be like, oh my gosh, you are messy. And I'd be like, yes, I am. <laughs> All right, guys. These are probably going to be my two videos for the day. Um, because I have got to... I heard Jeff because of the dogs were barking. So, I knew he came in the house. Um, I want to... Oh gosh, I don't know how messy it is over there. Um, I want to um, can my tomatoes today. And I was wanting to do chili base. I wanted to do more pasta, but I didn't have any more packets. So I'll have to wait till I get packets tomorrow to finish that. But um, I'm always thinking, what was I wanting to tell you guys? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to watch the video to where I said about the special word that you have to come up with or answer the question for my drawing for August. I'm probably going to let it go on because I know some of you guys... You know, can't watch videos until the weekend or something like that. So maybe till, I'm trying to think when I'm, maybe till Wednesday. If I don't get back on you, on back to you on Wednesday, then it might be Friday because I've got a busy week. We've got four doctor's appointments and um, I will be busy. Okay. I think that's it, guys. All right. You have a wonderful day and God bless. And I will put my email address down at the bottom if anybody has any questions or want to ask me anything and you don't want to post it on here. That's completely fine. I completely understand. And yeah, put a smile on your face. Put a smile on somebody else's face. It's a win-win situation. Who wouldn't want more smiles and be earrings? I love him. He's so cute. But I got to turn him around today if I want to wear him tomorrow or I'll be wearing him like this. I don't think it was meant to be that way. No. All right. Okay, guys. God bless. Have a good day. Be kind. Stay humble. And yeah, till next video. Bye.